Hi, I'm Akretio. Welcome to Minecraft Let's Play, where well, today we'll walk around to try to figure out exactly where to locate my base. I hopefully get back to my old base and bring some more stuff and uh, start building a base. But first I will try to survive the night. So yeah, let's hope I'm able to do that at least. Oh, I'm on top of the overhang. That's one way of getting down. Okay, so I think I've found the start of my base. And basically it's going to be under this overhang. Let's build something and start off in this big, big old room. Maybe make, uh, possibly making something to... Uh, have mining and all that and yes I know this isn't in the f in the flower forest area but if you go just around the corner you will get to the f to the flower forest and you will see some sheep as well but here you have the flower forest uh, and I think if you just go past this there is, uh, yeah, here we have this, uh, this really nice area. So the idea is to start off the base on, uh, on the location I showed you, and then make like two more entrances, maybe one towards here somewhere, and one uh, more towards this general area. So at least that's the plan for now. But uh, right now, I will go back to my old base, placing torches to be sure I'm I'm able to find my way back. Basically, yes, I do have the coordinates, but uh, still, since I'm that lousy at directions, I will do that. Oh yeah, oops, oops. That's by the way also a reason. Also, uh, because of my loss of sense of direction, I've made that tower to be able to see it, so I can find my way back to my base easier. Otherwise, I will have to do a new base from scratch every three episodes or so. So let's get back and hope I'm finding my way. Okay, so I just had to grab the coordinates. I think I know more or less which way to go. Let's start over here. Then I think this is basically the way to go. So here we are in my new starter base. I've basically set up, so we have the overhang, we have a lot of torches, and I've set up a small wall, just a cobblestone wall all around it, uh, which basically, yeah, basically leads to this. It's all lit up, but not much more. And outside I've started cutting a few trees down 
first I want to create some pastures to be able to to be able to have food reliable so yeah that's what I'm gonna continue to do and uh, if it turns out that there are lots of mobs that wants to kill me wouldn't be surprised I want to kill them so don't worry about that but if there is a lot of those I will just run into my base I managed to grab enough wood that I'm able to craft a bed and then just sleep the night away but if I don't have to well if I work all night it's more of a, yeah I get more done in a short amount of time of course you all know it isn't true because the time isn't the same in Minecraft as it is in the real world. Oh, I think it works better with stone axe than with the wooden pickaxe to cut on trees. But uh, let's see what I'm able to make uh, when I got the fences up and a little bit more, little bit more refined hopefully. So. I've cut down some trees and I'm looking at what pastures I want. I'm thinking about making four pastures, one for rabbits, one for cows, one for pigs and one for sheep. I don't have any mushrooms or uh, chickens yet so I'll ignore those for now. So basically I'll, I'm trying to build one pasture cutting into that lake a bit uh, and I will have to uh, Divide the lake into two to make a small bit where I can place fences. Otherwise my animals will just uh, swim away. So one pasture over here, something like that. Another one over here. Yeah, of course, finding somewhere where it's not only gravel. Maybe actually pigs on the gravel, coming to think of it. In real life, the pigs may always make some mess, so it it looks like at least dirt, maybe not gravel. I will just replace it with dirt. I don't know yet. Then another pasture over here, and then a pasture over here by the by the sand. So all of the four pastures will have a bit of uh, water in them, and all of them will have yeah, some to some degree some space now it's daytime again oh and look i got where did, where did, did it go i had a rabbit inside inside my base where did it go come on rabbit i it found it might have found its way out hello zombie That's the plan. Let's see what I can do. There's the rabbit. Let's see what I can do if I can, uh, if I manage to go through with that plan. I think I should be able to do that today. And then let's get some uh, fences. So, oh, I got quite a lot of uh, wood from this. Hmm. Let's hope I'm, I'm not making a fool of myself now. Seems that seems like I am. Hmm. Okay, it's not that. How have the uh, recipe changed? I have to go to the wiki page to look look it up. So I've now been uh, working working a bit. I've created these three uh, pastures. I'm thinking pigs here, uh, rabbits in the small fence over there. Here we get, oh, creeper. Creepers, I don't want fenced. Uh, in this fence, I'm thinking uh, right now cows. And in this one, I'm thinking uh, sheep. Of course, as this right now, I can't separate the different colors of sheep. That have to be a later project. Hmm. 
I haven't seen this before. I have to make sure to cut that tree and that tree down. That's irritating. <laughs> Visually irritating. Oh, well, but that's the four fences I've created. Uh, I'll get back to you when I have managed to get some animals in them and maybe slaughtered a few animals to get some food. As you see in my food bar, it's not that great. Uh, I've also created a tunnel in the back of my base uh, that basically goes all the way through the mountain and in a moment we'll see where it ends out so it's not in the perfect place it turns out it's over here we have this to the left it's not in the perfect place but it's pretty damn clear i mean i could think of having it like here or something so that should be pretty easy to uh, make it to change it to get this view instead when I get out. Uh, should be easy and then of course I have to do something about how it looks. I have to, I can't have this look in the tunnel that's not nice and I probably want it to be a bit wider and all that but it's a start at least. So let's see if I can get some animals into my pastures. And maybe I can even get some crops going. Maybe I should take today to go back and uh, get all the seeds I've got to be able to start growing something over here instead. I could see, I could use like around uh, this small lake, I could set up a few small growing areas. And of course I have the big sea just around the corner. But that's my plan for right now. Let's go the other way and pick up the torches. Uh, then we won't get confused in the future. This, I think. Oh no, I did place a few more torches, apparently. Unless this is the new path. No, I don't. Is it? Is this the new path? Yes, this is the new path. I shouldn't remove the torches from this one. This is where I want to, I want to travel. This is the correct way. See, now at least I was aware of uh, it being like that or the possibility of it. But that's why I'm removing the torches to avoid making those mistakes in the future. Oh. I don't remember what happens when your hunger bar is all out. I think I just found out. Let's hurry up. Now let's not hurry up, let's just get something to eat. I wanted to uh, cook it, but I don't have the time to do that. I need just to, just to do something get something in my stomach and then I can cook up the rest of it. That's harsh. Let's eat, uh, what is it called? 
rotten flesh to get the hunger up a bit. Yes, I know it's not ideal. I know I'm poisoned, but uh, as soon as the poison sickness wears out, I'm fine again and I'm healing up. And I haven't uh, used my normal food. So that should be okay. Let's see, since this night, let's sleep. Yeah. Five. Mm. Six. And the last, the last one. Seven. Great. Let's eat one of them. Well, that's not what I wanted. Let's, uh, yeah. I have been waiting for it, but I didn't want it to happen. And this time, I didn't think. Didn't even consider. Consider this. Let's dump everything in this chest. Everything except this chest. Damn it. That sucks. Yeah, let's, that should of course be in the video. And let's do, dump all of this into this chest. Then I can get my, this chest back. And I can get the double chest back. Oh well, that's how it goes. When you're not paying attention, then you you ask for it, basically. And it's fine enough, I mean, what could I complain about? Yeah, it exploded on me. Yes, but I know that creepers kind of explode on you. So it's nothing strange. So I have grown some wheat using bone meal to make it a bit quicker and now it's time to get started with getting uh, animals into into the pastures. So let's see, can I get at least two cows? Yes, great, great, great. Basically two is everything I need. And then I leave some to uh, to go for to roam around for free. Oh, and I got sheep as well. Not too bad. Just too bad they are going in different uh, pastures. So, the first time I did this, the first time I tried to get uh, animals into pastures, let's see if I can get another sheep. Yes. The first time I tried this, I didn't know you could hold uh, some of their food and they would go by themselves. So instead I tried another way. Come on. I tried to uh, fence them in and push them and fence them in and push them. And I mean it kind of worked works fine it's just damn irritating to do because it takes so much time you really have to really have really have a struggle doing it oh yeah this is so in oops in this first pasture i want to get the cows 
and in this pasture over here I want to have the sheep but oh sorry wrong button wrong button but for now let's see if I can get mm. the animals in any pasture oh let's do that and move move away not in this pasture please no and I'm jumping too far yes no can I push you hopefully, hopefully I'm able to push you down again yes and remove everything from here so now I guess they could technically go from there happen to jump jump on top of the fence <laughs> not like I did into into the pasture but jump on top of the fence and from there uh, go into the pasture but that's not it's not that likely where did the black sheep go I had it it was getting down here with me, so I, where did it go? Come on, sheep. Let's find it first and then bring forward the food. It's pretty strange you can use hay, basically. Okay, I, say, I know it says wheat, but I think it's more like hay to be able to get the animals to follow you when it's grass just beside them oh yeah I forgot to do the same thing here but let's see if I can get them through the gate instead oh yes it worked great so let's do go somewhere else and then since they were so good Let's give them something to eat. Oh, you're, you're eating by yourself. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. And small white baby. Nice. And let's do the same with, with the cows. Of course, it won't be a small white uh, sheep. But at least... Oh! It's an achievement, but I'm able to get another cow. So now I just need to keep this up. And uh, I've got two bone meal, so I get, guess I have to wait until it grows naturally to get more wheat to be able to breed them further. But uh, that's it for now. Let's see. Let's look at it from, uh, from above. So we've got these four pastures, we've got sheep in one, cows in one, and the other two are empty as of now. I need uh, carrots to get uh, animals into them, and I don't have any carrots yet, so that's just the way it is. And for right now, that's where I'm leaving off. Next time, uh, let's see what I'm doing next time. I don't know really, to be honest. That's it for now. Uh, see you next time. Bye.